morning, we are hearing from a local father about a documentary that just debuted last week that focused on his son's life and his son's murder. Talking about the film Three and a Half Minutes, it premiered at the Sundance Film Festival. It's being picked up for distribution by HBO. The backstory is 17-year-old Jordan Davis was shot and killed during an argument over loud music at a Southside gas station in November of 2012. Fire rescue car to the address of your emergency. Um, I'm at the gate gas station. Shots fired in the parking lot. Two black males stepped out. Came from the red SUV. I don't know if they were trying to stash something. The person driving the vehicle was the one shooting out of the vehicle. It was like pop, 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 pop. Second air. Pop, 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 pop. So let's talk about the impact of this film. Jordan's father, Ron Davis, with us here in the morning show. Good to have you here. Thank Pardon you. me as Thank I reach you. across you. Thank you. Good morning. Is there is there some solace in knowing that this is contributing to the national conversation about the plight of young black men? Absolutely. Uh, we were picked up by HBO, and they'll distribute the film. Our participant media is also involved in the outreach of the film. And the response that we've gotten in Sundance Film Festival was just tremendous. And every time that we showed a screening, it was a packed house, standing ovation. Because people get it. It could be their child. You know, this is not a child that was in the wrong place at the wrong time. This child was in the right place. You know, this child had his friends with him, and he wasn't doing anything wrong. And so uh, good parents, you know, good neighborhood. So it doesn't matter. We just let America know that, you know, it doesn't matter when you have people with the mindset of using a gun to solve any type of difficulty, whether it's verbal or not. Uh, those are the people that we got to make sure that we keep guns away from. So I know that the documentary, the film crew that came in, came in after the first tri trial uh, of, with Michael Dunn. Uh, how did they approach you, and, and how did you feel initially about, because you can always get worried about kind of what the message is going to be, and I know that the message has been very important with you ever since uh, your son's murder. Right. Uh, a young man, uh, his, his friend had gotten killed uh, back when he was 16. His name was J.D., and so when this happened to Jordan Davis, and he read about it in the uh, Rolling Stone magazine, mm -hmm. And he just noticed the initials J.D., and he told his mother, Manette Nelson, about it. And so she contacted me through my lawyer, and uh, she wrote me a, a, just a beautiful letter, a heartfelt letter. And so I called her, and she was just so excited that I called her. And I just basically said, you know what? I said, you know, through this conversation, I think you're the right one to make this story happen. And then we got a director, Mark Silver, from London. He had just won uh, 2013 for cinematography. Uh, at the Sundance Film Festival, so he was excited to get on board. So we, we things were going in place, and and I tell people, you know, I follow. If the Lord says step here, I step there, and Lord just gives you a feeling inside, and I think Jordan's spirit is inside, and and we just came together, and uh, we knew we were going to make this film. They've been shooting for about 18 months, and uh, it was just amazing that we are able to come down to Sundance and have that kind of response, and to also win an award for a social impact. Your reach has become, I guess dramatic is probably a pretty good word. I know there's this circle of fathers that has, you know, enveloped you, and, and you're there for each other. That's got to be cathartic. Yeah, it is. It is. I know what happened in Ferguson, uh, you know, was contacted by Mike Brown Sr., and, uh, you know, we went up there with Oscar Grant from uh, California, you know, and Tracy Martin was there also, and, you know, we let these fathers know there's some things positive that you can get out of what has happened to you that's negative. And so that's the spirit of this because, you know, for us having riots and whatnot, you know, every time something happens, it's, it's nothing that, you know, it's going to educate anybody, no. It's not going to do anything but cause more violence. So what we're saying is that we have to do something positive and we have to change the laws and we have to also get out and vote and let these people know. Like in Ferguson, you know, you're 67%, you know, it's, all you have to do is vote. You vote people in, you vote people out, and then that'll make changes. Be heard. Ron Be Davis, heard. That's thank right. you very much for being thank here. Thank you appreciate for being it. here. Do appreciate My pleasure. It. My pleasure. Over the weekend, as you uh, mentioned, HBO acquired the film. It's expected to air sometime in the fall. Filmmakers are still working out plans to show the documentary in theaters here in Jacksonville and hopefully nationwide. It's 21 minutes after.